If I had a dime for every time someone said you can't or shouldn't wheel land a pit special, I would have enough dimes to buy an entire hangar full of monoplanes. So if you agree, go ahead and click that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button too. Now let's get on with the video. In a world where wheel landing a tail dragger is feared, one man tempts fate. This is the Pits Wheel Landing. How do you believe a pits can be wheel landed? <laughs> the pit special has a reputation as challenging to land in part because it's hard to see in front of the plane, especially in the three point landing attitude. When you wheel land, the tail is up, which lowers the nose, so the visibility is much improved and you can keep the runway mostly in sight. Isn't that better? This video is not flight instruction, so if you're still watching, it's because you came to see the helmet cam play by play of how I execute this maneuver. If you're thinking I'm crazy for wheel landing my pits, then you should watch the other videos on my channel. They're linked up here. And you'll realize that me wheel landing my pits ain't nothing. Burning question pilots ask who think a pit shouldn't be wheel landed is, why do I do it? It's because it looks cool and that's what air shows are all about. It's also easier to see over the nose when you wheel land. In the end, a pit is just another airplane. So unless the prop is abnormally large, like on this little orange plane I flew to set the inverted flat spin record in, there's no reason the pits can't be wheel landed. Now let's watch the helmet cam video of the wheel landing with me talking through my technique. I've slowed it down so it's easier to grasp what's happening while I'm explaining. Take a look. We'll pick up the landing sequence after I have done the gumps check. So the prop is already full forward as I'm slowing down from pattern speed of 120 miles per hour to 100. On short final, you can see my left hand adjust the trim lever for a slight nose down pitch. So the stick rests against the fingers of my right hand and I'm just using slight back pressure to control pitch and descent rate at this point. The only difference in the approach to a wheel landing versus three point is the speed I cross the threshold and when the power goes to idle. In the wheel landing, I maintain 100 miles per hour over the threshold and keep enough power in to maintain speed to the touchdown. As I cross the threshold, I relax pressure off the stick, gently easing the plane down to the runway and just hold the wheels a few inches off as I dip the left wing into the wind. When I feel it make contact with the ground, the stick is squeezed forward to plant the main wheels and throttle comes out. As the plane slows down, I'm keeping forward stick pressure engaged so the tail doesn't drop too early and working the rudder pedals to keep the plane straight. I'll only use brakes if it's a short runway, otherwise I let it roll. When it slows down enough, the tail drops and I bring the stick back and hold it. A few taps on the brakes and I taxi off the runway. <laughs> and that's how I wheel land a pits. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and leave your questions or feedback in the comments section below. That's it. Fly safe.